How well do you know about eBay's managed payments? I know many of you out there like myself have been signed up with managed payments for quite some time and there are still a few of you out there who have not yet been asked to sign up. But there are some things that many of you, based on comments I've received on previous videos, many of you are just not aware how exactly eBay handles your money when it comes to managed payments. In this video, I want to discuss five things that you may not be aware of about managed payments as it pertains to your money. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. My name is John from the Flippin' and Easy channel. I am a full-time eBay reseller and I've been doing YouTube videos over the last year uh, to try to help other eBay sellers like yourself with eBay issues and problems and things that we encounter as sellers on a daily basis. In this video, I wanna discuss the five things that you may not know about eBay as it pertains to managed payments and how they handle your money. I've done at least four videos on this topic over the last nine months, and I can tell you that there are still eBay sellers out there who are not sure or quite understand how the managed payment process works as it pertains to your money and how it's processed. So before I begin, please do me one favor. Smash that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoy this content or this type of content, please consider hitting that notification bell icon so that you're notified the next time I make a video. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about as it pertains to managed payments and your money that you may not be aware of is how eBay processes the funds from the buyer to your account. Now, on average, it takes about two business days after the buyer has processed the payment for the item. That all depends on the type of credit card that they're using or form of payment that they're using. Something like Apple Pay or PayPal, where the funds are immediately available to the customer, may take only one business day. And I've seen it myself where a payment was processed within a business day. And that's probably why the payment was processed as quick as it was. eBay states that it takes about two days on average for most payments to process from the customer to your available funds. So it really depends on how the customer paid for your item. Some credit cards take a little bit longer to process through eBay's payment processor than others. And there's really no way for you to know as a seller how your buyer has paid. You only know that they've paid. So you just have to be patient. Some people think that payments are processed once the customer receives the item, and that's not true at all. The second thing you may not know about managed payments and how eBay handles your money, and that is eBay does not collect interest off of the funds. In fact, the reason why there's a delay, if you go back to what I just told you, uh, is the processing time. It's nothing to do with eBay holding and sitting on your money. Sometimes we think the worst about things. Um, if you watch my videos previously on managed payments, I'm not the biggest fan. I've never been the biggest fan. I've had some problems of my own dealing with managed payments. Look, I don't have any reason to believe that eBay is holding our money so they can collect interest. There's many things that they do to fee us to death and make money off of us but I don't think that they're doing this and they're telling us in their policy that they're not collecting interest off of this money. I hate for it to come out where they actually are, but for now, I'm gonna hold them to their word, what they say in the policy, and that they state that they do not collect interest off of the money that is being sent over to your account from the buyer. The third thing that you may not know about eBay managed payments, you actually have two different options as it pertains to your payout. So you can have a daily payout or you can have a weekly payout. So the difference is this, 
your daily payouts are for monies that go into your, uh, your available balance Monday through Friday. So if you have an available balance, let's say $100 on Monday, on Tuesday, that money will be processed to your bank and could take anywhere from one to three business days to hit your account. Now that has nothing to do with eBay. That has everything to do with your bank. I use Chase with my main account and it takes me on average one business day, sometimes two. I don't know why, but sometimes it takes two days, but normally it takes one day and eBay has no control over that. So they will actually send the payment from Monday's available balance on Tuesday morning and that's just how they do it. Let's say eBay sends your money that you earn on Friday, you probably won't receive that until sometime early the following week. Now, if you choose to have your payment sent to you on a weekly basis, eBay processes that money to your account Tuesday mornings and they use the money that you've earned from the previous Monday all the way through that Sunday. And of course, again, it's, it's a cycle every week. So Monday through Sunday, and then they pay you out on Tuesday morning. And then that money is received sometime later in the week to your bank, depending on how fast that money is sent over. Now to change that, you'd want to go into your seller hub and you want to go to payments and you should be able to go to where it says payout settings and change it to whatever option you like. I have mine set to daily. Uh, I've never changed it yet. Uh, I realize it may create a little bit more accounting work for me, but it's not that big of a deal. But maybe it's something that you would consider changing to weekly if you have a lot of payouts. If you have just a few, you may need that money faster. You might want to replenish that money a little bit quicker for more product. For those of you in that category, I would say you'd want to keep your payment set to daily so that you can get that money as fast as possible so you can flip it. So the fourth thing that you may not know about managed payments that has an effect on your money is how your money is affected when a buyer opens a return or opens a case with eBay. As soon as a buyer opens a return case or let's say an item not uh, received case or any other case that they contact eBay about, your money is immediately moved from your available balance to your on hold balance. And that money is not accessible to you at all until that case is closed in your favor. And that's assuming the case is decided in your favor. If the case is decided in the buyer's favor, that money is then used towards the, the buyer's refund. I only think that they do this because they don't want you uh, having that money sent to your bank and then they would have to find a way to recoup that money from you. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Now, from my experience, this is different than what we dealt with with PayPal. And uh, in most cases with PayPal, unless the dispute was opened through PayPal, if it was opened through eBay, those funds would still be available in your PayPal account. But that's not the case with managed payments. It's, it's somewhat frustrating. It can be frustrating. I had a situation on a number of occasions where a buyer actually stated they did not receive their item when the tracking information showed that their item was delivered. And the funds were placed on hold. I had to reach out to eBay and after looking up the tracking information, eBay closed the case in my favor and released the funds back to my account. It's a hassle, but it's a safeguard that eBay has in place to protect themselves. With that in mind, I would also caution you, as I've stated in previous videos, do not open a case against the buyer if there's a problem with your return before you process the refund. In doing so, it'll lock up those funds and you will not be able to use the refund tool. So be very careful. Just know that whenever cases are opened, it throws those funds into the on hold state and you do not want your funds to be there, which means your money is not at all available to you. The fifth thing that you may not know about eBay's managed payments and how it directly relates to your money is what happens when you have to process a refund back to the customer and you have no funds available in your processing, in your on hold, or in your available funds. 
And if you don't have enough money to cover that refund, let's say a customer decides they want to open up a return, that puts you into a negative balance. Because that refund is waiting for the item to be returned back to you, that negative balance will just sit there until you receive payment for other items and that will help pay for the negative balance. If there is a refund that is processed when you do not have enough funds in your processing, on hold, or available funds, then eBay will, within 14 days, recover the money from your checking account, the account that you have on file to receive payments through managed payments. For this reason, if a refund is initiated by you or eBay, you need to get money in your checking account ASAP if you don't have the funds in there already because you don't want to face a situation to where you will be overdrafted because of this refund. eBay doesn't exactly specify the exact amount of time other than up to 14 days. That's how it's actually written in their policy, which means they can hit your account in a week or they could wait the 14 days. This gives you some time, however, to make sure that either you have other sales that come through that will cover that balance or you get money into your checking account so you're not overdrawn and having to pay fees to your bank. So here I'll leave you with another thing that you may not know about managed payments. And I was told this a few months back, but I'm certain that it still rings true. If you have not been asked to switch over to manage payments, it's just a matter of time. They are working some things out to allow some of these prohibited items to be sold with managed payments on eBay. And until that's worked out, there's a delay. And the delay, I've been told, is middle of 2021. The goal is to have most sellers switched over to managed payments from PayPal. If you haven't been asked to switch, just consider yourself lucky. Uh, you get to have your money in your PayPal account immediately. Now, the reason why PayPal, and this is something that a lot of people don't know about, is that PayPal is a payment institution. They are set up like a bank. eBay is not. PayPal has the wherewithal to actually front you the money while they wait for the credit card payment to process to your account. eBay doesn't do that. They have no intention on doing that. And that is the biggest difference between PayPal and eBay that a lot of people just don't like. And I, I get it. We've been spoiled. That's pay, that is PayPal's payment model. Amazon doesn't do it that way. Mercari doesn't do it that way. Poshmark doesn't do it that way, where the money is instantly available to you as soon as that payment is made by the customer. eBay is just falling in line with the other platforms that are out there. And unfortunately, we've been conditioned over these many years that we're gonna have our money right away as soon as the customer pays. And it's no longer that way. It's no longer going to be that way. And for many, it's gonna cause them not to sell on eBay anymore. And that's, that's a shame. But I just want you to know that that is what happens with the funds. There is no other reason than eBay is set up much differently than PayPal. And that part of it, as far as I know, from what eBay has told me, that is not going to change anytime soon. So what are your thoughts about this? What are your thoughts about managed payments as it pertains to the five, actually six things I told you about that you may know or you may not know, most people don't, and please leave your comments down below. Um, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on these topics. And while you're at it, again, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell icon. As a programming note, I'm going to do my first live video here very soon. I'm thinking maybe this weekend, uh, maybe Saturday. Not quite sure, but keep your eyes open. Look for some notifications coming to you from YouTube and hopefully I can get this thing launched. Don't know how it's gonna be. Hopefully you can take some time out of your day. I'm thinking Saturday at this point. And I would love for each and every one of you to be there uh, with questions in hand and ask me whatever you wanna ask me as it pertains to eBay. And hopefully 
I can help you as I have helped others. Before I go, I want to give a shout out to Anthony and Scott. Uh, they've watched a lot of my videos. They asked me a few questions by email and I was happy to answer. And I try to answer as, as many of my comments and emails that I get from each and every one of you if I can. But again, I'm running, as you can see, my garage is a mess. I run my own eBay business and that takes priority over any of these videos. But uh, usually when I'm winding down later on in the evening, I go through my comments and my emails and I wanna help as many people as I can. That's the point of this channel. And for those of you experienced eBayers out there, if you come across any comments or questions that are in the comments, please, by all means, answer the questions, help each other out. That's what this, this channel is all about. And I appreciate each and every one of you for how you participate and watch my videos. I can't believe after a year that uh, we're at about 4,500 subscribers and I'm honored for that, to be honest with you. I never thought after a year we would have this kind of participation on uh, a channel from someone like me who is just like you. I'm no different than you. I'm trying to make a living off of eBay. Uh, some of you have a job and are supplementing your income with eBay, but we're all here trying to do the same thing and that's to succeed on eBay. So guys, do me a favor, get out there, keep listening, keep making those sales, and know one thing, that flipping ain't easy. And we'll see you guys here really soon. Yeah.